ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Sports Talk and the Success Table. I greatly appreciate your support to our channel. If you're not a subscriber yet, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Definitely. So uh, this is a big question, man. Ronnie, from your time at Ole Miss, going through those tough trials and tribulations, do you think that helped you go against your rookie, your rookie, your second year and your third year going to San Francisco playing against Jerry Rice and t Mr. Terrell Owens, man. Those trials, did that help you uh, propel your journey to the NFL? I, I, absolutely, I, I absolutely think my trials and tribulations here, um, here at Ole Miss, the, what we were, what I learned defensively from playing linebacker and safety. Um, Art Kaufman was a great, I mean, we had some great coaches. Art Kaufman, um, my DB coach, um, John, my, uh, uh, our D tackle and D line coach, Coach Don, Coach Price. Those guys did a great job of teaching us the game um, because I, I honestly feel like the game of football is not that hard right? Um, at some point, everybody's going to be good. The thing that separates you is the knowledge of the game. Uh, because if I know what's going on or what's about to happen before the ball is snapped, I have an advantage over the, over the guy who doesn't know. So I think the learning curve I had here helped me to the, at the next level. Um, and and to, to, I guess, to further help John Moore Jr., um, I one of my great friends, great coach, love him to death. I think he saw something in me as well. Um, he told me I didn't get drafted again uh, when I was a rookie. We were at minicamp, and he told me, he said, hey, look, for you to have a chance to make this team, you're going to have to study. Um, and so the, if you think about a phone book back in the day, phone books were really thick. <laughs> think, about, think about a phone book times three. That's how thick the playbook was. He told me to take the playbook, go to Kinko's, and copy it because I had to turn it back in when I left. Now, if you were a draft pick, you got to keep the book and take it with you and go home and study and do this and that when you left. But for guys who were undrafted um, or guys who were uh, not sure they were going to make the team, you had to turn the playbook back in. So it was the best $187 I spent uh, copying that playbook, which I still have to this day. Uh, and I studied it every chance I could. Uh, when I left there, I was studying. I worked out, studied, and my wife now can tell you that's all I did whenever I wasn't there. Was I, I was even in the hotel room after practice, I was studying. I hear you, man. So it was, it was uh, my journey here at Ole Miss really, really did help me um, along the way. The mental toughness part because it's 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 tough. It's a mental game. They throw so much at you at the next level um, to see how much you can retain, and so. I think I think being here and having those great coaches that I had and being around some great teammates helped me um, helped me make the team as an undrafted free agent. You know, especially when you're talking about going against Jerry Rice and T.O. every day. Those guys definitely make you, um, you know, iron sharpens iron. So they definitely make you step your game up in practice. And so I think I think with that and my work ethic. And the the and the educational part as part as far as football um, helped me make make the team. So, and I'm very fortunate and grateful for that. This concludes our episode today, folks. We greatly appreciate the support. And if you're not a subscriber yet, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to get all our up to date content. And if you like this video, hit the like button. We greatly appreciate it. We welcome you back next time.